Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different uh, laptop. Today we have an Dell XPS laptop. This is a two-in-one laptop as the screen on this one, they actually rotate 360 degrees so you can use it as a laptop or a tablet. So it's kind of pretty cool, neat feature that they have. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to replace the, uh, how to repaste your CPU and clean up your fan and do a service job on these models based on your request. So first thing first, you wanna flip over your laptop and you're gonna see these screws at the bottom. They are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiny screws, they're all the same size. And you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. And we're gonna be using the bit number T4 and Phillips number zero. So to remove the screws on the bottom cover, it's a T4 we're gonna use. And we're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Remember they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, after opening your laptop a few times, the bottom cover comes really easy to lift up, but if it's your first time, you might want to open it up in 45 degree angle. And you want to grab yourself an opening tool. In this case, I'm using a guitar pick. And you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right there. And you want to just wiggle around. Here, those clicks, those are the uh, clips are uh, snapping out. So go all around. All the way to the back, to the other side. There we go. Now, once it's loosened it up a little bit, you're gonna close it back down. And you wanna lift up from the where the power jack is. So you wanna lift up from this side, don't lift it up from the power on button. So power jack side, hold it down from the hinge and pull this side up. Or do it the front end and then just go ahead and Try to lift up the cover, and there we go. Lift up from this side, and then slide it towards the power on button. Because you don't want to yank it up, otherwise you're gonna break this power on button right here. All right, so this is the bottom cover. You can go ahead and do use a toothbrush, a new one or an old one, and you can go ahead and clean up all the dust that they have in here. This is the intake right there. So clean up all the intake and clean up the whole base and the rest all right down here everything is really simple first thing first you want to remove the or disconnect the battery cable from the board just by pulling this plug backward there once you pull it backward the jack will come out next we're going to switch back to our Phillips screw head We are gonna remove one, two, three, four screws in here on the heat sink. The screws have a seal lock on them so they will not come out. You just have to loose them up. Once you remove that in there, also we need to remove the bridge right here. So grab this flap, flap thing right here and just pull it up. The same thing right here. This is the connector connects this board to this board. And we're gonna remove this one and this screw right here. That's the fan screw. This screw, they do not have a seal lock on them, so just remove them completely. Now we're gonna grab the heat sink and we're gonna pull it out. And you're gonna see all this dust that is in there. Okay, so this is what we need to clean up all this. So what we do, we're gonna grab our working towel, place it nearby. Uh, so we don't, you're gonna grab a tweezers and remove all this excess of the dust in there. You're gonna lift up the, this, untangle the cable for the BIOS. Remove the fan right there, just by unhooking the jack. Try not to pull on the cable too hard. I'll try to 
do it from here. There. Okay. Now we're going to lift it up. What we're going to do to clean up the fan, you need to remove one, two screws right there. These are tiny screws. Once you remove the screws, you can just go ahead and you cannot lift up this one because there's this copper you have to lift up with your fingernail backward. There are clips. The clip over here. And now you can lift it up. And uh, sometimes the fan comes out. In this case, the fan is not coming out. That's fine. What you want to do is grab your toothbrush and just go ahead and clean up the fins right here nicely. Clean up that and go ahead and take your heatsink outside and clean up the heatsink. Now that I, I took the fan outside, I put some alcohol in it with a, um, with a toothbrush, I cleaned it up nicely. And we're gonna put back again the cover that we removed from here. So grab this cover and place it right on top. And put the two screws that we removed. All right, now that we put the screw in here, so we have the fan cleaned up nicely. Or you can do a better job than me, I guess. And now we're gonna clean up the CPU and the heatsink. You wanna grab the alcohol, and you're just gonna rub the heatsink out. This thermal paste is really, really old, so it's really stuck to it. You can use, a, again, same opening tool, Kitapic tool, just remove all the excessive you can see it's actually really like a concrete so go ahead and clean up you can go ahead and remove this isolation right here you don't need it it's not going to shorten anything on like that so don't worry about it so once we clean up a little bit we're going to do a few more passes so this is what happens when you never do your own repaste. Repasting is really important. It looks in the picture that I'm actually scratching it really tough, but these are not like a really, really not scratches. Just it's really smooth. Okay, now we're gonna clean up the CPU too. We only care about the CPU die. You don't have to clean up the whole CPU, so don't worry about, oh, I need to clean up the whole CPU. No, as long as you clean only the die, you're fine. Leave the rest, because you could go actually damage the capacitors on the side by trying to scrub the really hard thermal paste in there. There is no need to do any cleaning in there. Just leave it the way it is. Now, you can see this thermal, this heat sink has a little, the color uh, oxidization on it. So to clean this one, you can grab a copper cleaner solution. And with a copper cleaner solution, it's really recommended to do it. If you have a decolor, this kind of different color in here, it's kind of, I don't know if it's oxidization or what you call this. So you wanna dab it in there and then look at this one, how clean it is right now. Right away, it cleans it really nice. So use a copper solution to clean copper. And uh, with this one, you're gonna have a better contact for your heat sink. And next, that will be you need to grab your thermal paste. I use a different type of thermal paste. If you can get a cryonaut grizzly thermal paste, these are the really best thermal paste. The cryonaut depends the client. My client is asking for MX4 because he doesn't wanna pay extra premium. But the Cryonaut Thermal Grizzly is the highest one I really recommend for these laptops. So pretty much you're gonna grab your thermal paste and you do a tiny line right on the CPU. Just like that, okay? And what you wanna do first, you wanna plug in the fan cable right there. Slide it all the way in. 
run the cable for the BIOS place the fan right there and put the two screws that you removed for the fan first but once you put down the heatsink you don't want to lift it up if you lift it up you're gonna create lots of bubbles in between the thermal paste so once you go put it down try not to lift it up again now we're gonna bring down the heatsink straight down and if you pay attention they have a numbered one two three and four on the heatsink uh, you can go either by one, two, three, four, or you can start anywhere else. Do one, two, three, four. You put, pretty much you have to do a cross screw them. So hold it from the middle and go from, let's go what they say here. One, the number two, then three and four. There. Now we have the heat sink in there nice and clean. You're going to grab the bridge cable right here. Make sure the contacts are clean. Clean up the contact. There's no dust in there. Okay. And uh, we're going to straight down, bring it in, and snap it in place. Bring it on, snap it in place. And the last thing would be grab the connector for the battery, uh, bring it straight down, and push it inside the jack. Make sure it's all the way in. And next we'll be grabbing the top cover this is very important you want to put down the where the power on switch goes right in the hole right here otherwise you're going to break if you push it over so bring it over make sure it goes through the hole right there and then bring it down set it down and push down all the corners make sure you hit those clicks and the last thing would be to grab your screwdriver change your bit to t4 and place the bottom screws i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own services and if it did you know what to do and if you guys subscribe i really appreciate it and motivates me to take requests and do more videos for you guys again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm just gonna finish up screwing this one and that should be all There we go.